Every day I wake up and I ask myself, how bad do you want it? What are you willing to do and sacrifice to get it? My whole life, my dream has been to play in the NBA, and I'm willing to do whatever it takes to make it happen. Even if it means to put up 500 makes a day on the gun and 500 makes on the gun at night. I've been working my whole life for this, and I refuse to let it slip away. Well, I mean, when I bought that first goal out there, we had it on the street. We was paranoid because he was always out there, and Todd was running up and down the street. It was a busy street. But uh, from day one, he was, he was shooting that ball. He was, he's always had a, an outside shot. I fear was that he was just so small that he wouldn't be able to do anything. But we, what we did, we learned to use that as an advantage. And uh, he constantly shot that ball and playing basketball. I start my workouts after my 8 a.m. class and it consists of shooting on the gun. Then in the afternoon, it's ball handling, explosion drills, and footwork. I put the trash bag on the ball so it would be harder to grip and handle. And adding a tennis ball makes it even harder with the head-eye coordination that you gotta have. I love the grind. I love coming in and giving it everything I got every day. It doesn't really feel like working out because I have so much of a passion for the game. I wanna be the best. And to be the best means you have to put the time in. And when you put the time in, the results is going to show. I don't just do it because of the money that comes with it. I do it for my city. My city made me the person I am today. It made me have a hard work ethic. It made me realize that nothing comes easy and that you have to grind to get where you want to go. That you have to push yourself to the limit. I do it for my family, my friends. I do it for the kids that's out there dreaming and hoping that one day they can play in the NBA. I've been an all-conference player in college. I've scored over a thousand points in a two and a half year span. That's satisfying and all, but I want more. I want to shock the world. I want to be that one in 10 million. I graduate with a degree in communications, and people ask me, what are you going to do with your degree after college? I say nothing, I'm pursuing basketball. Then they ask why. I tell them, I've only dedicated four years to my degree, but I've dedicated my whole life to basketball. So what you think I'm going to do? I got to prove them wrong. I got to make the non-believers into believers. I have to keep going for all the doubters that think my dream can't happen because I'm at an NAIA Division II, because I'm 5'10". This for the people that think nobody pays attention to small school athletes, that nobody cares, especially the NBA. Chris Crook, you can't do it. Chris Crook, give up. Chris Crook is not gonna happen. Chris Crook from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, that only had two offers out of high school and no stars. You're not going to be the one in 10 million. My response, just watch me.